All right, this is how you close up the side. Now this is going to be the upwind side. The wind, you want a crosswind going this way. So with your multi-tool, you poke a little hole through here through the tape to run your quarters through, which is attached to one of the corners here. Has like a canopy. Run that through right here. Okay. And then you tie this off to the next available tree, or you can use a stake, a pole, or something. I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to tie this off to the ground. So, so basically you have this action going right here. Now to close this off, you use the same binder clips. And I'll show you if I can get this steady. Okay, that's good. Get a couple sticks. Preferably straight, like that. Can't be too thick. One binder goes up top here. Just like you did with the space blanket. Goes up top and secures to the suspension system. You close this off. You take your stick. And you wrap it around a little bit, like that. Take your binder. And you bind it. That's pretty much it. You do that along the bottom here for the rest of it. Now again, this is the upwind side. You want this pretty much closed off, sealed off. Again, if this is 12 by 12, which is what I was looking for, you'd have much more, more material to work with. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just rolling it a little bit and then clamping it. Okay, you do that all the way to the bottom. Now for the sides, uh, for the back side of this space blanket, I don't secure it, I just let it hang. And so you do this, you do the same thing on the back side, but you want a little bit of a gap. The back side is going to be your door basically. And that's pretty much it. I'll move the camera on the back side to show you how I secure the back of the plastic. <clears throat> this is the back side of the hammock with the plastic draped on the ground. What you want is a long stick, just heavy enough to hold the plastic down. You put it on the end of the plastic and you just roll it up. want it too tight and that's it for the back now for the bottom of the sides <laughs> for the bottom of the sides with more binder clips you want to clip this up short sticks or whatever, rocks. At the weekend it was real windy and it was real cold. 
Uh, we're having some crazy weather here in New England. As you can see, I'm in a t-shirt. It's almost 50 degrees. And just a week ago, it was 12 degrees. So the same thing on the ends. Roll it up. Not too much slack. Well, you want a, a good amount, a good amount of slack because when you lay in this hammock, the hammock's going to go down a little bit. And that's how you secure the bottom of the hammock. Um, there's a few tricks and tips about the front side uh, using the long fire and the reflector wall. I'll set up the camera again and move it so you guys can see that. Okay, with, with everything else, there's techniques. Techniques about driving, Every, everything in your life is about technique. One thing about the front of this is you want it down, obviously. But after you roll up the front, you want it a little bit in. So any sparks from your long fire, any sparks that fly up, if they hit it, they'll fall. They won't land on it, they'll fall off. That's one thing. Uh, you have to use a long fire, at least five feet long. Um, and your, the spacing from your long fire from your plastic is one step away. That's the distance that you want to have it away from. Uh, these are a little bit thin. One thing I learned over the weekend is you want three logs about that big around so that you don't have to wake up as often to feed the fire. Uh, next time I'll be doing that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, also on the back side of the long fire you want a reflector wall. I think everybody knows how to build one of those. And I think that is it. I, that's all the questions I remember getting. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So all the proof is in the pudding, so I'll get in it. Plenty of room in here. You know. And that's it. I'm ready to spend another cold night in New England. If it ever gets cold again. Right now the thermometer reads 50 degrees. So So that's the super hammock shelter. This is uh, this is not my idea. I'll post if you look on my favorites on my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see the uh, video of the guy who did this, which is where I got the idea. And uh, hopefully he mentions anything that I missed. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>